I'm gonna put my mouth like this. What? I gotta get me a mouse for each side, I guess. No, that wasn't it. Settings. Voice. Audio. Nope. I'm gonna leave that alone. I think it's a platonic. Let's just make sure of that. Okay. You might get a little bit of wind blowing, but it's behind me, and I'm gonna have my head forward, of course. You know how that is, right? Right. And we shall see. Forgot to monitorize. Okay. Done deal. I know that's not the most important thing in the world, but now get on to the the, the page and see if anybody shows up. That's fine too. I'm sorry. I'm Right around my ear. Okay, it was one of those stink bugs. Now, what I said, hi, Amber. What I said was, I'm going to do some Illuminati bugs, and that's what I'm going to do. Oops, I got to get this straightened out. And it's got to be a very, very light flame because they're not going to be very big. And it's going to be a single flame. And I'm going to do a couple of them using just some Illuminati glass and see what I can go from there. One of them, of course, is going to be another mantis. And I want to see what it looks like that way. And another one is going to be uh, what I'm going to do right now. And I think I can make it look like I want it to. What's the problem? I'm online. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway. It uh, messaged you. I already said hi to her. But no, you can't say hi to my my daughter. <laughs> now, what I'm doing here in this size, it, it it should be fine, in making the connections and making sure they're nice, and it also gives it that nice round ball effect for the tail itself. Each individual individual, it's like bundle as it were. Okay, then of course we've got. Uh, Then, of course, we've got, uh, I'm going to do the two wings, actually four wings. It's what it's going to need on here. And also with the same design, I'll, I'll do the next one. I'm going to do about three of them because these are going to be really small, really quick. And I hope that you guys can see. Oops, you know what the, the biggest problem is? I haven't switched you over to the other camera. And I put a... I put a, a, a shade on it so it's a little darker so that you can see the smaller detail going on. I hope it helps. I know it's dark, but I want to make it look as so that you can see what I'm up to. Move the camera a little what? To the left, to the right. Oh, that stink bug stank. A stink bug stank. It went right for the for the. Um, it went right for the uh, uh, oh. the stink bug. That's what that smell is in here. No. Oh. Okay. So I take it. Yeah. Never mind. I know that that she stayed over tonight. No. Caitlin's at her house. I was playing with 
Tira. You spelled it wrong. How do you spell it? It. Now what I'm doing here is making two big wings. At the wagon fly. Not quite yet, but it's about to be. I need to get the. Uh, now where are my? Oh here no, here they are. Here is my tiny go. tiny ones. I don't care. Okay. Oops. I let it settle too long before I aimed at it. Let's try it again. There we go. We got two wings going off of that. Tweeze that and flatten it out a little bit more. Yes. What does it look like? Possibility? No, it's probably just a man's face. This one's going to be fun to aim at it before I get to There we go. We've got three or four individual wings now. Press and shape. <sighs> We're getting there. Yeah, you can go inside. I'll let you. Take it easy, Brian. Love you ever. I think she heard you. There you go. Now I'm going to add to these wings just a little bit to make them all about the same length that I want them to be. And stretch them slightly. It's fun at this size to keep just what you want inside the flame without melting the other pieces that you don't want inside the flame. It is a complicated uh, setup, but it does work out really well once you get the hang of it. To There's always an angle that you can put just what you want inside the flame. And if you had a tinier torch, that would work also. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's one. Little dragonfly. Stretch that wing out just a little bit more. There we go. Should have got a little bulge on the end. Let's flatten it out. There we go. That's one. Now, the same type of balls that I just did for the, or, or the same type of little connections that I did for that tail, I'm going to do for the tail of this thing that I'm going to do right quick. Okay. But this time, after they're done, at this size again, um, you can just connect one right after the other without too much trouble. It's just trying to keep the definition of the individual sections together. Okay, I'm going to do about six or seven of these, maybe even eight. Little round balls. A couple more at least. We're getting there. And this one's going to be the last one. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Fairly simple. Now this last one. I'm going to put a, put a little bit of a point on it and curve it over. Does it look like anything that resembles anything that you might think about what it might be? Or should I told you that it was going to be a scorpion? Eh, either way, that's what it's going to be. Okay. And making things at this size, again... 
has its advantages in that you can um, it's like making a cake compared to a cupcake you don't need as much energy to cook it to say the least add a little bit more here for space for the legs now I'm going to smash it out just slightly widen it okay now we're going to do six legs on each side I know it has eight but then you figure the claws and or actually no that's a man mandible thing so I should put claws in here too I mean so I mean I should put eight legs is what I'm saying but as small as it is it'll still get the um, the impression of what you're doing without saying it's the detail isn't screwed up okay now we're going to put one off to one sort of leg off to that direct one thing off to that direction and one thing off to this direction and now we're going to put these claws on here Anybody else show up? No. I'm going to do one more. I was thinking about another mantis, but somebody has a good idea. We'll try to do that one instead. But we're working on bugs. And we're working on small bugs. Any clues, any questions, any suggestions? There we go. And the best part about these, it says Illuminati bugs. So when I do a picture of these for the page, every single one of them is going to have, oh man, also, every single one of them is going to have um, a nice glowing effect going on under a black light. Okay, a puppy. That's not a bug, my dear. I love you. We're going on a bug, bug theme here. Cats, my. Um, and I guess a mantis will have to do. I don't have too many bugs in my repertoire. Okay. I'm smashing this. This is going to be the back wings of the of the mantis. There we go. And there is the abdomen. Now we're going to sort of take it off from there and or add to it to make the section for the legs for the mantis a ladybug now you tell me i didn't think of that but it was would all be green it wouldn't be red and white or red and yeah red and white to do the uh the glow in the dark thing or glow in the black light thing okay now four legs and then we'll use the front pincers or whatever 
on this thing. There's two. Oh, uh, that's the problem. Let's sort of tilt it up. There we go. Maybe a little bit better that way. I haven't noticed. I should have been looking. We'll see how much time. I, I Actually, I'll go ahead and do a small ladybug after this. Just because I can, Amber. There we go. Now we're going to uh, elongate and put the pincers up front here and put a head on it. Okay, another one, and then I think I'll do the head and walk away. <laughs> there we go. Now the diamond, tri actually triangular shaped head. Oops. Ah, all right, graceful. Everything fell off. Holy cow. I am doing good today. So I guess this is going to be it. See you later, Amber. Bye. I'm sorry I didn't get to say goodbye when you were leaving. Ah, the cold well didn't last. I'm sorry, people. Looks like the whole thing was not welded together like it should be. We have those days, don't we? And I always take from beginning to end. I always show you from beginning to end on anything that I do. To let you know that even the best of us still make mistakes. And I'm far from being the best. But sometimes mistakes turn into interesting accidents that turn to better pieces down the road. Because you think to reinforce it in another location. Or you think to do a better job at, 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 at a certain part and that you didn't think to do before. Which is cool. That's what life's all about. Learning, growing, and becoming better. I don't know who's going to say an amen to that or what. Oh, well, that's what I forgot on the last one. Antennae. Almost looks like an ant.
Okay, two big bulgy eyes. One on this side. One on this side. Too bulgy, but it's going to do. I'm going to let it happen. Now I got to put the uh, back wings on it again. Cold weld here. Get the abdomen a little bit longer because I want to and because I can, since I am doctoring it anyway. There we go. Now, this is it. I don't know why it fell apart. I actually was trying and I wasn't trying for some reason. I guess it's not my best today. But I, again, I take each one and do it individually. And this is going to be it. Three little tiny ones like this. And I got to curve it a little upwards. There we are. And we have tweezer that off. Fire polish his nose. And we have a mantis, scorpion, and a dragonfly. You know, before I finish off with this dragonfly and call it quits, I'm going to put a loop on his nose. And I have been enjoying immensely my new little toy, the buttonhole punch that I've created. And I know that somebody else has probably created it long before I did. I just put my own together. And the idea is you just put a little bit of glass, melt it in really well, but still you make sure it's a nice little ball, like so. That's all you need. And then come along with the punch. I can get it unhooked from all my other tools. And press. And it went through. Thought it went through. Yeah, it did. Now I got to just elongate it a little bit. And you take the loops or the teeth and you sort of ream it in there a little bit around the outside edges and it widens the loop really, really well. I thought that was fantastic. Anyway, that's that. Pull that off. And now we have some black light buggies. I might do another couple of ser in the series to see what I can do. As always, thanks for being there. Short, sweet, precise, to the point. Other camera. Thank you. As you're your own cameraman, I think I need to stop and take some beauty sleep because I need all the beauty sleep I can get. Yeah, about four years. Well, yeah. Uh, anyway, thanks for being there. I enjoy, again, showing off and maybe helping you to do something in the future. And until next time. Carpe vitro, and enjoy your day.